when you're talking about this doing it all via video as well so i know we talked about doing a video interview that that was that there was such a it's such a different ball game from being interviewed face to face yeah so tell me about tell me about that then so your your whole your whole process from start to finish was remote and you are fully remote now what were the differences like between your first interview at the co-op and your second interview it's, it's really it's, it's it's really good timing beth because yesterday i actually met my manager at the co-op in in person for the first time wow. i think since probably november last year so the first so so that was so it was really good time and so when we met again yesterday face to face it's like it just goes to show the difference of going you're speaking on zoom and teams and actually face to face like oh i've not seen last time i saw you i wasn't even um so the difference between was i i would say so when i last time i had the the, the first interview face to face this i've realized the pros and cons of, of, of both sides of it um i actually think that the remote interview actually was you you kind of put yourself under more pressure because you're thinking okay if it's got to be done remotely and because it's not face to face but for me personally i like when i walk into a room i like to sort of be in that, that person in the same room and space you can see you can tell um you know the mannerisms you guys you know shaking a hand how you're doing a glass of water and and you don't get that on a video call so that was instantly when my and my the preparation even the application process i watched i thought it was really good whereas previously you know you send your cv in but what co-op do something really well now is actually they do give they ask you to do a two minute uh this is during the application process a two minute video of yourself wow that's so really like, interesting that was like wow so on their online portal so they asked you a couple of questions something along one of them was what are the benefits of test automation and um and the other question which escapes me at the moment but that's not the point it was like so they asked you a question and you got two minutes each to answer that question and that was that really threw me i was like okay i but the great thing about it is actually it, it gives you like two or three times you can choose to answer but it's it's almost more pressurized at the yeah. time than, 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 than actually being in person but you've really got a kind of i felt with the video interview you've just got to kind of relax into it so so once i did that and i practiced a couple of times it comes back to actually i felt comfortable doing it because i've been doing the public speaking so all public speaking by the way a bit like stuff was on online mm -hmm. so i'm not you know so actually that had helped me for the interview process so actually going back to your question before how was raising my personal brand helped me it helped me directly in that moment awesome and so and then coming on to the interview that was uh that was quite um that was an in that was a completely different as well because I, me and the family were going down to dorset and actually i got the call i got an email on the way down so oh, we're you've got an interview next week it's video luckily enough i took my laptop with me so it was a really this is a really beneficial thing as well so i actually on holiday did had my interview and it's in, in the top of like the holiday lodge and wow. actually well done for remembering that laptop blimey i was gonna there's something <laughs> in the back of my mind for thinking actually you know and, and what would i have not been able to do i'm sure they would have understood um the, the thing the key things for the interviews that i found on on your laptop is first of all do a dress rehearsal it's almost like like remember your testing basics like let, let's let's test it first test it out do a dry run let's learn so i did a couple of uh, calls on it on my laptop when i was down at is the internet stable enough right. um so that was that was a really big thing as well so actually so if you've got an interview coming up remote just check your internet just check what uh do you have any regular outages i know it sounds kind of there's any times of the day where it's when it goes down just these little things can trip you up um but also i found as well that in my mind it made it easier was actually approaching it of thinking don't get you don't get dressed up completely you know some people do but equally don't get too casual it's just mm. showing showing respect um but it's almost a case of everyone's on the same page here you know it's kind of uh, and i was blessed um so that when i had the interview with paul and we we're both clearly of the same kind of right we we, we know because i didn't want to go on there and i asked that question in advance i said i'm, I'm going to be relatively casual if that's okay because it makes me feel comfortable and i actually think that's what video that's the benefit of it you kind of say you feel more comfortable i can i does it really matter how how i dress personally i don't think it does matter to be honest unless you don't you know <laughs> unless someone wear comes in and wearing a shorts and t-shirt yeah yeah, yeah 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 which uh, yeah i would so there's a certain level so the, the, in my mind to help my video interview i was like 
I'm dressing like a polo neck shirt, some trousers on. Um, but that just did made me feel comfortable. Also, I always made sure like I had a bit of water to hand. So if I was if I was in the office, if I was in a the room, I would always ask for water. Be it, if sometimes for me it's a crux, it's just something to hold yeah. on to. Yeah, but yeah. Also, it's just like just even like now, literally, you mentioned it, I'm getting a bit thirsty. So just just having a drink of water, just to give you a couple of seconds break as well. That's consistent as well. Um, or and certainly don't do what I did uh, at the on the, the interview is that my daughter used my laptop in the morning and she and I had my presentation lined up. The, so I did my dry run at nine o'clock in the morning. Unbeknownst to me, my daughter got my laptop out and started doing her own schoolwork. So when I did my presentation, I was like, okay. And then I, I went on to the next slide that says, these are the benefits of automation. And actually that came up there. That's like, it was some schoolwork. Oh, sorry. You know, so it's always like do a, a, a dry run before. Um, but, these are the benefits uh, of automation two plus two equals four two plus two, yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> a, a picture of pepper pig there go yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> but that, that, probably, really... that probably went down really well i imagine you know sorts of, we've become way way more used to and comfortable with life just yeah. happening around us in a really good way this year i think i think you're absolutely right beth absolutely spot on and i, I think because and when I was working at very, someone put it as though, uh, and it was it, it went it was worded really well. So where, when you go on video camera, we're we're intruding in your home. If there's someone walking behind you, if there's a pet, or if if it's, you don't need to apologise, we're intruding in your home. And actually, the way that they worded it, just you know, you don't need oh, to go. Yeah. You know, yeah. And I thought that's really good. So in a way, I thought well, that's that's. So when during money felt that uh, into when doing the video interviews this year and with the carp and um. And others, I remember it's actually it shows you tend to get more empathy from the other side. So if you're kind of, uh, I mean, I've when I've interviewed in the past for for people um, coming in, coming in, I've I've always tried to show that empathy. I always, I think I've been in their shoes before. I think the video interviews tend to uh, on both sides more empathy. So I've had some fun. I, I've, I've had some great interviews this year, like with, when Paul the Cop was interviewing me, and he showed him for empathy because he. I said, I know this isn't this different. We're all it's all been a literally a different world for us this year. And I think um I think doing preparing for your interview in terms of your technicalities like that, I think is probably more important than I was doing all the usual interview stuff like the night before, right? Okay, example A, example B. Um, but it's actually that kind of goes out the window on a on a video interview because it's it's all about you need to be bring yourself bring yourself to the interview rather than how can I demonstrate what the components of a test plan are as we all you know it's that kind of I think those days are kind of going out the window now it's how you are personally yeah yeah more I so think. yeah exactly mm -hmm.